Hey, hey, hey guys, tis I, Randy Strand, or as most of you know me, you can call me Butter. I have something kind of different from Art Dot to unbox today. I wasn't sure what to think about these, and I haven't unboxed them yet because I wanted to have a real reaction and see what you guys thought. But they reached out to me about these LED headband glasses. They're magnifying glasses. And so I was kind of like, well, I wear glasses, so I didn't know how these would work. I'm, I'm really excited. So I haven't unboxed them yet, and my husband saw them on the table. And he was like, can I have those? Like, where did you get those? Can I have those? I wanna go do some stuff in the garage. And I was like, no, I haven't even unboxed them yet. Let me see, I wrote down the pricing on the website, which I have linked down below. They're $18.99, and then I have a coupon code, BUTTER10, and you can use that and get an extra 10% off. There's five levels of magnification, so you have five different lenses, if you will, that you can change out. It's like a one times up to like a 3.5 times magnification, so it's up to 350% magnification. Also, it has like five hour capability of lasting, keeping that charge in there. And you know, the more I thought about it with my husband asking me if he could use them, I was thinking it's not just for diamond painting. I mean, if you're a cross stitcher, if you're knitting, if you're reading, I, there's so many different things that you could use them for. They also have two adjustable lighting settings. So you've got a soft light and a bright light. I think that's great. That way, if you're like in the living room watching TV and you don't want something really bright, or maybe you need it brighter, then you can adjust that. And then of course it's got the off selection too, but there's two levels of lighting, the soft and bright, and then there's four LED bulbs in there. So you're gonna get nice, crisp, clear light with the LED bulbs. Um, I think that's all I know for right now. So uh, let's get down into it. So the more I'm thinking about this, maybe we should look at this. You know, I was one of those kids that you get the stuff in the cereal box and I wouldn't read the directions. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at this. There's a lot of small writing, but basically this is just showing you that you've got the five kinds of magnification. So there are your lenses, and then this is the headpiece. Here's the movable lens slot. So we'll look at this, but basically once you put your lenses in there, you can actually tilt the lens to where it's perfect for you. Okay, so you can move this up and down as well. Maybe if you're trying to look at something else and you don't wanna have the magnifying glasses on, you can lift that and then put it back down. Up at the top here, we're going to press that down and that's what's going to turn on those four LED lights. This is showing you with the rechargeable lithium battery where you can plug it in and you can charge it. This is showing you the battery indicator light. So obviously if you have four batteries full, that means this is fully charged. Let me in, let's see if there's anything else. Okay, so if you don't want the glasses bracket, you can actually put this headband on there and wear that instead if that's just more comfortable. I think there's pads that you can put inside the nose piece if you want to make it more comfortable. I thought I saw a thing that you could actually put the lens down into. So there's a little piece here and I think it's just gonna connect right there. So yes, we have all kinds of instructions. Let us just get into it, shall we? These are the glasses. Boy, there, there are a lot of moving parts. It's nice, it's kind of like rubberized a little bit in here, it's soft. So that should stay on good. And then here is the part that you put your forehead on. On the top from looking down, here's our power button and you can see the four little batteries so that'll let you know how charged the actual headpiece is. We've got our four little LED lights here and this is kind of the front view up. Right here is where you're gonna pull this thing down and it's got this little slot right here and that's where we're gonna put our actual magnification glasses. But it's kind of cool because if you look at it from the side, this thing adjusts, this adjusts. So if you want your light down, if you want it farther up, if that makes sense. And then you can also move this piece that's got the light on it too. I guess that's where you charge it, right there. So you'll lift this up. I'm assuming there's a, a small charging cable in there. We'll take a look in a minute. So there's that. This must be the headband. I feel like I'm telling you, you know, this way is the exit, this way is the exit. Make sure your seatbelt is fastened. So here are the clips. What you do is you actually press this 
button right here and then your earpiece comes off but with my fingernails I just I can't quite get it I failed but essentially what happens is you press this and this piece comes off and then you take this little guy you can see it's the same thing and you pop it in there and then boom you got your your elastic headband on there instead of these. So I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. I know you probably would have liked to see it. These little pieces right here, which you can put on this little rubberized area here if you so choose. Here we have our cord to recharge these glasses. Let me get this open. Okay, so it's not a super long cord as you can see, but it would work. I mean, even if you had another one, it's a um, USB-C. Can you see that? Yeah. So what you do there is like I showed you before, you just kind of click that up and then plug that baby in right there, charge this guy up and you're good to go. I have not charge this up let me get this out of here i have not charged this yet so i guess when we turn it on we'll see how charged up it already is and oh you even had a little cleaning cloth that's a nice touch so you got this nice soft little cloth that you can clean your um, lenses with we have our lenses we have our cool box that they came in and it shows you the magnification in each one. You've got the 1.0 all the way up to the 3.5. I think you can see that. This is a great little case. I love that. So here is our most magnified lens and on here it says 3.5 times. Get my camera to focus here. There you go, you can see it there now. And this is your thickest one. So you can see how thick the glasses are. That's the most. And then this is just the one times, and you can see it says it right there. This is that little piece that's going to slip into the glasses, and then you'll have them there. So this is the thinnest one, and you can kind of see the thickness difference on these bad boys. Let us put one of these in and then I'll put the glasses on and we can kind of see how that is and then we'll look through each of these and see what the actual magnification is. I figured I would get a little closer and that way we can see what they feel like and what they look like on. Um, so we've got, as I showed you, the glasses and then we have our lights up here. This is just going to be the bar that's going to show you how charged up these are. Let's turn it on. So there it is. We've got the soft one. Oh yeah. And then the more powerful one. Oh yeah. You can see. Okay. So let's put them on. Oh wow. I put, that's amazing. I don't have my glasses on and I usually can't see this close when I'm up this close to my phone, but I can really see it with these on. So that's amazing. Each of these have different sizes. Like here's the thickest one. So that's gonna be your 350 times magnification. Let's just for kicks, see how the, the three time, 3.5 works. Okay, so we've got it on there. And I mean, this is like, crazy town. I would imagine depending on your vision and if you normally wear glasses or not, which one's going to really work for you as well as if it's light, if it's dark where you're working, um, or even how detailed the project is. I don't know. Some people paint like little figures and things like that. So maybe you need the 3.5. Let's put this on. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Let me pick up the box. Oh, man. Guys, I can actually see this. It looks so good. I mean, this is if you're doing something teeny tiny. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll take these off and I will uh, shoot a little bit of the video through these so you can see what I see, if that makes sense. So we'll do that in just a minute. This is what it's looking like right now. We have the lowest, the one times, see the difference just even with this, how tiny this is and then how it's magnifying. Actually the quality is really good. And you can see with me laying it 
over it how this right here is not as, as clear and large, whoops, but this is. I think these would be great for cross stitch. I mean, anything small and detailed. So now we're gonna use that 1.5. So let's do this. Oh yeah, and you can see depending on how far you pull it back. Boy, those are clear, guys. This is nice. And you can see once again over here how small it is and then how much larger it is here. That's amazing. And the fact that you can just flip them up if you want to look at something else and you don't want the magnification to be there. This is the two times. So you see we're getting a little bit thicker here. Man, that is crystal clear. I'm trying to get it to where the light is not reflecting off of there. Look at that. That's really cool. I can't wait until we put the um, the other light that's on the glasses with it, but I mean, it's so crisp. We've got our 3.5 here. Man, that's amazing. And like I said, you can see that thickness. So look how clear that is. I don't know if I've got it close enough. Yeah, look at that. So look right here where it's tiny and then look right here where it's nice and magnified. That's really, really cool. I hope this is helping you guys. I hope it's working. So I have put the smallest, the lowest lenses in here, which are the 1.0. Let's turn the lowest setting. There we go. All right, so let's put the 3.5 on here. So let's take this one that's super magnified and put it in here. All right, so we've got the thickest one in there. And then we've got it, and that's amazing. We've got it to where you've got that magnification on there. And like I said, you can really see here how much larger it makes the font okay so this is with no light this is with the soft lighting which is really good and then if you're in that dim room we'll put it on the brightest that looks good. All right, guys, like I said, I was a little bit skeptical of if I would use these. And of course, my husband is now interested in using these, but I don't know, man. I think I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> I like this. Thank you, Art Dot. I love it, I love it. I hope I showed you guys all of the different features with these. Let me zoom you back out. Here is the overall kit again. You get the five different lenses, right here, the five different magnifications. You get these really cool, actually very comfortable, as you can see, glasses. You can put this strap on here if you would like something that's just secured to your head. You've got this case that you can keep all of the magnification lenses in and it, it has them labeled. And you can actually put them down in there like so and put them in order because it shows, well, if I can see here, I'm looking through the camera. It shows right here what each one is. So you can just organize those and, and keep them in there. You know, if you've got your favorite pair, you can just keep them on the glasses. I really like this and it's definitely something I'm going to use. So if you're interested in getting this, I have the Art Dot website linked below and they're $18.99 right now, but I have that code BUTTER10, B-U-T-T-E-R 10, and you get 10% off of that. So go check it out. Art Dot, once again, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm really glad that I took you up on the offer to check this out because I like it a lot. So I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye, guys.